Hello, I'm Mr. Charlie and welcome back to AP Physics Review. Last lesson we talked about vectors and coordinate reference frames and how it's very important to keep track of your point of view when making observations so that your future predictions will be consistent with your past observations. Today we're going to delve into some real physics and talk about one example of certain quantities, observations, and predictions that you might be making. For example, the relationships between distance uh, traveled, the speed you travel it, and the acceleration at which you change your speed. So we're going to talk about how these are all related with time and some various kinematics equations, kinematics being the study of motion. Um, and we're going to do that, do that with vectors. Although the vectors are going to kind of be acting behind the scenes today. Uh, this is again one dimensional motion, one dimension being a line, two dimensions a plane, three dimensions of space, and so on. So uh, everything is going to be acting back and forth along a line in this lesson. Uh, they will be vectors, but we're going to be kind of treating them in a scalar sense, in that we're only going to be adding and subtracting them. Adding them if they are uh, completely parallel, and subtracting them if they are anti-parallel. Uh, but it's important to keep in mind that these are directional quantities that we're dealing with and so especially the next lesson when we talk about two-dimensional motion it'll be important to uh, make sure you keep track of what is a scalar and what is a vector you know what is displacement what is distance what is speed what is velocity and what are the differences between all these terms you know physics is one of those things where there are a lot of technical terms that we throw around in everyday speech we talk about our speed and our velocity and acceleration uh, you know our car, my car is a good acceleration but physics again has very specific mathematical definitions for each of these concepts that may be a little bit different, although related to everyday speech. So it's helpful in that we have a general sense of what they mean in spirit, but it also can be kind of tricky if you um, don't pay attention to the mathematical definition and realize that sometimes it's a little bit more subtle than uh, what we're used to when we talk about these things every day. So let's get started. Motion is the change in position of an object over time. Very simple, if I walk across the room, I'm moving back and forth, because my object, my position is changing uh, over some unit of time interval. So we also, whenever we observe motion, it has to be relative uh, to some reference frame. If I move back and forth across the uh, screen here, that's because I'm moving relative to the frame. Um, if I were very careful and clever, I could have somebody move the frame behind me and it would also look like I was gliding back and forth. You wouldn't know which, if I were on rolls, uh, wheels, rolling, uh, if I were on rollerblades, I could move right smoothly and the thing can move behind me smoothly and you wouldn't know which is moving. Each viewpoint is equally valid um, as long as you have all of your observations taken from the same reference point. So. Therefore, uh, it's not surprising that our analysis of motion and kinematics will depend heavily on vectors and directional quantities. Kinematics, as I said before, is the study of motion, and so this lesson will talk about one-dimensional motion, motion along a line, back and forth. Um, and so we're not concerned here with why things move, and like, you know, if I push something, if I, you know, push this pen, I can make it move, right? I don't care, that's going to be forces and Newton's three laws, and that we're going to be talking about in lesson three or four. Um, we don't care about that right now. All we care about is the fact that something is moving, and try to talk about how it moves, and like, how fast it's moving, how far it's going, where it's turning, things like that. So we're only concerned with motion itself, not the ultimate cause right now. First, start off talking about instantaneous and average motion. So, motion can be uniform or non-uniform. Uniform means kind of smooth and unchanging, rather than halting and starting and uh, quicking, moving faster and slowing down. So, like a constant change per unit of time, um, or a constant.